down here in the red. You saw him dominating that previous game, playing just like he did in Starcraft 1. He is up here. The player whose name I fumbled in between the uh, in our in between game talk. Very good player, but is he good enough to win this game? Let's find out. His name is. Well, uh, Boxer leading 1-0. If he destroys Korjong like uh, he did last game, this might be one of our quickest days ever. I believe you are correct. <clears throat> Could be straight up all two O's. Yeah, yeah. Pretty one-sided two O's as well. Even with Fruit Dealer losing, that would be amazing. Sheesh. Poor, Sheesh. Fr poor Fruit Dealer. Sheesh. Can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He'll be back, though. Oh, definitely. The deal of fruit cannot be. I don't know if we even got a shot of the cold blizzard art. It was no, really, that's true. It we saw so it cool at BlizzCon, too. though. Blizzard fans of the fruit dealer actually made Zerg fruit art. It's yeah, pretty cool. Presented to him at BlizzCon. It was awesome. Well, the probe coming around to scout. And, uh, you know, this is all pretty standard. <laughs> It sounded like some sort of like crazy bird or dinosaur. Gurgling right water there. for a second. Yeah, that was kind of funny. I'd just taken a sip of water and it was. <laughs> Anyways, uh, on this map, I think any sort of build, like what we saw at Boxer do early, is really quite great. Any sort of banshee timing build on this map has been very powerful thus far. But then again, Boxer uh, switches up his strategies quite a bit, actually. So I would not be surprised if we see something completely different. Boxer. I think the thing he's known least for is his macro. His macro has always been his oh, weakest definitely. point. Yeah. His you, micro and strategic play is really where it's at. Before people really knew what macro was, Boxer was revolutioning the game, revolutionizing the game with micro and tactics. And by the way, by micro, I mean macro rather. We mean uh, the ability to gain a, an income quickly, expand, control an economy. That's right. Micro, the controlling of your units. How to win small battles. Or make more with battles. small numbers yeah. or large numbers than you should be able to mathematically. Yeah. Well, SCV checking out that second geyser. Doesn't give a ton of information away. People love that second geyser. Uh, either for expanding off three warp gates or for quick tech. Or sometimes even the crazy uh, warp gate rushes, which we don't see as often nowadays. Factory back here. He can float that over, scout what the Protoss is doing. That's why you see most Protosses make a pylon over here. We may, as the metagame evolves, even see people hide the factory here mm. and float in from this side, since if they're going to hide something, it's going to be over here. That's quite true. It takes a little bit longer to float that way. So I think people nowadays just kind of hoping. Yeah, we're going to put the tech somewhere easy to spot. The factory being made up here. Now, uh, it's a possibility he'll go for Floating over and making a tech lab on the island and then floating over a starport for it. Yeah, looks like he's going to do exactly that. Oh, nice call. Yep. Uh, we did see this uh, once before in the GSL. And it's a pretty cool move, except when your opponent goes Void Ray. <laughs> then it Phoenix. sucks. Yeah, and then it's really quite terrible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's going to be really quite terrible, it looks like. Stargate definitely going to be able to scout that quite easily. Now, is he going to go Phoenix or is he going to go Void Ray? Hard to say. We'll see. We'll later know what today. Boxer's gonna do when we see if there's an armory. Oh, I see. He's gonna make this yeah. tech lab over here, swap them out, bring the factory back over here. Yeah. We may even see another uh, star, star, star port. Nope, an armory. Thor starting up again, but last game he did something similar and canceled said armory That's upon true. scouting his opponent. A cloak being made before even the Banshee. Has a little bit less gas than normal due to the extra tech lab and the armory. We will probably see a Banshee next. Yeah, if he goes Banshee Cloak and no Banshees, I have a problem with that strategy, Tasis. <laughs> but right now, a Phoenix oh, is oh, being oh. made and barely doesn't see it. Oh my god. Barely, he barely, barely. barely missed that. He's going to go ahead and uh, see everything else in the base. He's like, okay, it's going to be a Thor all in. Will Boxer cancel? Nope, it's going to stick won't. with the Thor. Yeah. We know that because of the armory. Some noob is like, but what if he wants plus one weapons attack? No, noob. You're wrong. 
<laughs> Stop saying ridiculous stuff like that in that silly voice. <laughs> that is true. That is true, tasteless. Thank you. Goddamn noobs. <laughs> Phoenix is now flying around the map. He still, again, does not know about this. And there's a Thor. He's yep. getting nervous there. Man, he's going to couple Banshees with Cloak with a Thor all in with Marines and Thor. And this is actually going to be sick because even though he has anti air, these, these Banshees are about to have cloaking and they have cloaking now. This is huge. And he cloaks. Oh no. Thor Jong right now is like, OMG. WTF. Oh no. I scouted everything. How? You know, just now he is making that robotic, so he's going to lose ridiculous amounts. I mean, with that type of economy, you're not going to stop this Thor Marine all in. Absolutely not happening. Oh, there it is. GG. GG. Boxer moves on. To the round of 16. Wow. I am wiggly and I am jiggly. I'm and wiggling. I am full I'm of geek chills down happiness. my spine. Yeah, this Hot is. damn. Slayer's Boxer won that match. And here he comes out onto the stage. He just grabs the trophy. Drives the trophy. He's like, I won the tournament, right? LOL. Like, he doesn't even keep track how many rounds there are. I really am curious as to how that strategy would have worked out uh, had that uh, Banshee Rush failed because. He's going to congratulate him. Yeah. Congratulate his opponent. Congratulations, I just beat you. <laughs> How does it feel? How does it feel? He's a very, res me. very respectful player, though. Yeah, he's Gotta a great to guy. And uh, that means I get to interview Boxer again. Pretty excited about that. I hope you guys left some great questions. And we see we have the Koreans on screen. Here yeah. we are. Hello. We look um, good. We're looking good, too. Um, I'm really curious to see... What would have happened had that Thor, uh, the Banshee strategy not worked? Yeah, he had a he, Thor. If that would he have gone for like a Thor drop, or would he have done for like um, all in? I feel Marine S an S CB Thor. Yeah, yeah, maybe that too. That, that's what I feel. But uh, the really interesting thing is, what if that Phoenix had been on a slightly different rally point, even by this much? Can you he see this? That Ready, close. Let me put it against my jacket so you can actually see. That much <laughs> is how much he missed that starport by. Okay, so what if? He had change it by that much. A completely different game when you scout the Banshees. You might need to ask that anyways. Yeah. Just no matter what. We need to know. I don't know, man. I'm just going to ask him all the sorts of things. What's your favorite color? Yeah. <laughs> you want to hang out with me sometime? You know? <laughs> He's a boxer, man. Of course. Of, of course. course. You hang out with me. What? Guys, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Uh, what is it, like 9.14 at night? This is a really quick day compared to yesterday. Uh, Two hours, 15 minutes. Whoa, that's like so quick that's for so four short. best of threes. Uh, yeah, totally. Normally that's when we up. get up when it, where a show starts at 6. We started at 7 today. Yeah. Here's there Boxer he himself. He's acting like he's about to leave. <laughs> oh, you're not going anywhere, Mr. You can't Emperor. leave. You're coming right over to me for an interview. Oh, yes, you are. Thank you so much to our sponsors at Sony Ericsson. Thank you, Blizzard, for supporting us. We love your game. Thank you, Artosis. You're so handsome and cool and funny. And thank you, everybody who's tuning in. Because, guys, it's been a blast. It has. But don't go anywhere because you're going to watch a boxer interview and then you're going to go back to sleep. Or you're going to have to go, I don't know, read some forums or something because you're at work watching. I heard a lot of people do that. And I am glad I can help you through working for the man. <laughs> yeah, we understand. We talked to a lot of people at BlitzCon. So many people um, just at work listening to these, uh, these VODs or listening to it live, depending on the situation. So thank you so much for joining us. Let's take a look at the results for today. We had the fake boxer, 2-0 over Fruit Dealer. Wow, just wow. Inca destroying Tank Boy Prime. Nyx Genius destroying Gilja, aka Sink. Slayer's Boxer destroying Korjong. A lot of 2-0s. Only 2-0s. Slayer's Boxer's game. No, wait, TT. Lots of Terrans, lots of Zergs in the next round. Not that many Protoss. Let's go to tomorrow's matches for the round of 32. We're going to have OGS and Snare against Kyrix. I can't believe Kyrix made it through. The guy who rushed all in. I uh, can't think of his name for some reason. Hongan Prime. And then we have Hope Torture against Czech Prime. Ooh. After that, we have Lee Knock against OGS Nada. And finally, my nerd EG Hydra against OGS Xenio. Yeah, that's pretty wild. It's going to be a fun day, actually. Oh, my. Don't turn if you want to learn from Protoss. It's a fun day <laughs> Thursday right there, Tasteless. <laughs>
as opposed, of course, to Funday Mondays. I got it. I was all over it. And we are the day two of the round of 16. Nesti oh. versus the win. Fake boxer against Song Ho. Inca against Next Genius. And Loner against Slayer's boxer. Oh, oh my God. The servers are going to go down for that one. Nerdgasm. That's right. Well, we are going to be leaving here just momentarily. Yes. But I'm not going anywhere because I'm going to interview Slayer's boxer once again. So don't you go anywhere. You just sit tight. I'm going to grab him out of that crowd of fans. I'm going to save him. Pick him up from the ground and put him in the chair. We'll be back, guys. See you tomorrow. Enjoy the interview.